have a bleeding disorder, it's important to know that most bleeds are not caused by a cut. You can also bleed inside the body, in a muscle, mucosal lining like a nosebleed, or a joint. A joint bleed can occur from an injury or can occur spontaneously. This means it can happen without an obvious cause. The joints that are most affected by bleeds are knees, elbows, ankles, hips, and shoulders. When bleeds happen often in the same joint, this becomes known as a target joint. Frequent bleeds to one target joint can cause serious damage. It may be difficult to tell if a bleed has started. You may not be able to see any signs when a joint bleed begins, but you may notice that something does not seem right. You may feel bubbling or tingling in the joint. Your joint may also start to feel warm and you may have a hard time moving it. As the bleed becomes worse, blood pools into the joint. Eventually, your joint will feel hot, painful, and swollen. Over time, the amount of blood in your joint may cause increased pressure within the joint and may severely limit your movement. Many people who have a bleeding disorder follow a prophylactic treatment plan called PROFI for short. PROFI is when you take clotting factor infusions to prevent a bleed. Clotting factor can also be used during a bleed and is best if done early. The longer you wait to infuse clotting factor during a bleed, the longer it will take for your joint to work normally, especially if a lot of blood has pooled into the joint. You may need to infuse more than once for a bleed. Once a joint bleed has started, giving clotting factor will stop the bleed by helping the blood to clot. The clotting factor does not remove the blood that has already collected in the joint. But over time, the blood in the joint is absorbed. After treating a bleed with factor, some healthcare providers recommend rice, rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Every time a joint bleed happens, it damages your joint. Joint bleeds can cause damage to the joint lining, and eventually this may lead to damage of the cartilage around the joint. The cartilage is a part of the joint that covers and cushions the bones to allow the bones to move smoothly. Frequent bleeds can wear out parts of the cartilage. This can cause the bones to rub together. The rubbing can cause the bones and the joint to change shape and lose its normal function. Once this happens, the joint will become painful and hard to move. If you have a joint bleed, you are more likely to have another bleed in the same joint, creating a target joint in the future. Frequent bleeds in the same area can lead to permanent damage to your joints. This damage can prevent you from doing what you want and need to do. This could mean riding a bike, playing tennis, picking up groceries, working, and doing activities with your family. You may not be able to walk without pain, and in some cases, you may need to use assisted devices. To prevent bleeds, be sure to follow your treatment plan as prescribed by your healthcare provider. You can also follow a physical activity plan that you discuss with your healthcare provider. If you have a bleeding disorder, you may be worried about activities causing a bleed. But what you may not know is that physical activity can actually help prevent joint bleeds by strengthening muscles and helping maintain a healthy body weight. Keep active and maintain a healthy weight for better joint health. It's important to know the early signs of a bleed so that when a bleed happens, any type of bleed, it can be treated and stopped as early as possible. There are various kinds of treatment for different bleeding disorders. If you have questions about bleeds, speak to your hemophilia treatment center team or healthcare provider. For more information about this and other topics, visit stepsforliving.hemophilia.org.